we're planning an engine for a project, the engine itself and its components depend directly on what type of vehicle it's going into. For instance, a full bore drag race engine will be quite different than a high performance street or daily driven vehicle. Here we go. When we dyno our engines, we often focus on peak horsepower and torque numbers. These numbers are very useful for understanding how an engine will handle its chosen role. But it's just as important to look at the overall power band and operating range of the engine. By interpreting these dyno results, we will get a better understanding of our engine. And to illustrate this, we'll look at two different big block engine combinations for two different applications. First, let's examine the engine from our Pro Street or No Street Nova. 588 cubic inches of big block Chevy. This is a purpose-built race engine with high compression, designed to operate in a very narrow range between 5,500 and 7,000 RPM. Looking at the dyno graphs, we can tell it does this very well. Peak torque is at 6,200 and only falls off slightly at the end of the pull. The higher you make peak torque, the longer it will carry horsepower, perfect for drag race applications. And speaking of horsepower, it increases throughout the entire operating range with no fall off at all. Just what we need for the strip. Drag car engines live at high RPM, so having the power and torque in the upper range of the power band is ideal. While that 588 is a great engine for the strip, it's not exactly street friendly. It requires distilled race fuel to run, and at low engine speeds, it's very temperamental, making drivability a bit difficult. For a more streetable yet high performance bullet, this Olds 455 is a better big block choice. This is an engine designed to run on pump gas with a broad torque curve and great horsepower in a wider operating range. Looking at its dyno graph, we can see that lower RPM torque is immediate and although it drops off a little more in the upper end compared to the 588, it's still pulling hard all the way to 6,000 RPM. That strong low end torque gives you that seat of the pants rush during acceleration from a dead stop, which every gearhead craves. From 3,000 RPM, horsepower builds smoothly with minimal fall off at the very high end of the operating range. This wide power band makes the car feel fast at any engine speed, making both weekday and weekend driving more fun. It's not just about peak horsepower and torque. Be honest with yourself on what your engine is supposed to do. You'll end up with a better bullet.